Good morning, guys. This is Webster from my Therapy Garden YouTube channel. We're playing the dirt. Help me to take away the hurt. This morning, we're in the rose garden, and right at the end of the hybrid tea side of the rose garden, I have an aster patch. <laughs> I gotta call it an aster patch. This is an ear where I plant lots of asters. I have a stoke aster, of New England aster, and other type of aster that I don't even know the names. And this is the time of year for aster to bloom beautifully. And as you can see, right here at the end of the rose garden, the asters are in full bloom. We have that light lavender color and more of a light pink color and they surround all of the stone that I have here asters bloom at the end of summer to fall that's when the asters bloom. All right, guys. And also, since I'm back here, I'll just show you my fountain. This is my summer project I've been planning for and working on so it's not yet complete I mean the fountain is up and running looking beautiful but to finish around it still need some more work need more gravel and of course all the um, plants that I plan on putting around it but this is my first introduction guys of my fountain We've been talking about this era for a while now. The first plan was to put a fireplace here and then we decide to just make it a bigger area which we can put a fountain. If you look at the detail of the fountain, these are all lion heads. It has a nice big pond to collect the water. And then we go up in a nice two tier. So the fountain is in the backyard. We can hear the sound from the bedroom window. And when we sit on the back porch, And you know in a garden, the work is never done. So I have plans to make the back garden a little bit bigger. Because uh, thanks to Anne in Ohio, <laughs> I have to make room for more irises. And I think the iris came at a good time because I can put iris around the fountain with some like fountain grass with mixed with the iris we can have that around the fountain you can see where i spray paint the grass this is the area where i'm gonna extend to have like a little courtyard for the fountain back here in the pollinators garden I outline where I'm gonna extend it a bit make the pollinators garden a bit bigger
So we're still working in the garden, still, still uh, making plants, which I'd just like to share with you guys. But for right now, my pride and my joy is the installation of the fountain. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Very relaxing to sit on the back porch, look at it, and just hear the water. You know, all the birds on top of the hill. You know, it's so pleasing in the morning to come out and sit down and just to relax. So it's nice to work in the garden, but it's also nice to just sit and relax. So thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for sharing the video and inviting friends and family about this channel. Thank you, new for helping this channel to grow. If you're new to the channel, please hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. If you have a question or a comment, please drop a line down below and we'll um, answer those. You can also follow me on Instagram at my.therapy.garden and on Twitter at mytherapygarden1 you just take off the N from the garden and put a one. So G A G A R D E one. My therapy garden one. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now. Have a great day. And just enjoy the pleasing sound of the fountain.